WTF World Tour Grand Finals coming to you live from Astana, Kazakhstan. I'm your commentator, Adam Bobro, and that right there is Fang Zhendong. Xiao Pang, recently Xiao Kuaizhi, number two in the world. And he is arguably the strongest player, but it's tough to say. We will see. He's playing against a legendary player right now, Timo Boll, the ITTF Male Star Athlete of the Year at the ITTF Star Awards. Timo Boll, 36 years old, and continues to stun the world with his mouth-watering shots and performances from hand-switching to diving shots. Almost pulled off one of the most magical shots even imaginable in table tennis. Just shy of flying over the barriers. I think maybe we've seen that before. But Timo did something, he dove and from the ground, raised his racket against Wang Chun Ting to try and play it from lying on his chest on the ground. Just lifts his upper body up and sticks up the racket and came close to the ball. Had he won that point, I guarantee you the world, there would be no war on the news. It would just be table tennis nonstop. Timo Bull would create world peace with that shot at least for several minutes or however long they'd be showing it. Czech umpire Roman Klecker from Czech Republic. Again, we've got the best of the best here. It is the World Tour Grand Finals, so all the familiar faces, the familiar umpires that we have. Katarina cleaning the table from Italy. We'll talk about her in a bit. So Timo Bull, currently world ranked number five, is doing all sorts of stuff in the table tennis world right now. Has had maybe the busiest year of his life between winning T2 recently at the grand final that just happened in Malaysia, beating Dima in the final. It's the first time that's happened in a long time, considering Dima had beaten Timo Bull three times this year. Oh, completely new hairdo for Katarina. Mixing it up a bit, Katarina Farago that is. In case you're trying to follow on Facebook or Instagram, which I'm sure many of you are. So Timo Bull rocking the bandana. First time he's done it since he was maybe a teenager, early 20s at latest. He just found that his hair was growing out a bit, sort of liked it and didn't want to have to cut it. I know the feeling. So the bandana seems to give him some spunk out here. Fan Zhendong, look at all that Timo's doing. Stretching out the shoulder blades, it seems. Funny feeling, he pulled out some push-ups before he came in. Likes to do push-ups right before his warm-up and also before the match starts. So Fan Zhendong, the third seed, he's 20 years old, but not for long. In January, he'll be 21. Fan Zhendong used to be the youngest World Tour winner until Yu Zhiyang took that title. 2014, hey, there's a man looking good. Wang Hao, the legendary reverse pen hold backhand three-time silver medalist in men's singles. The Chinese flag from the supporters right now. That guy's holding a little higher. There we go. She had to text first, send a wave of a message. So Fan Zhendong, explosive on both sides. He's world number two. But the second seed, one spot in front of him, Timo Boll. Again, so many second places this year. One of which was to Tomo Kazu Harimoto in Czech Republic. And then China was Dima. Here's the coach of the year, Jor Graskov. Won the star award, being with Timo Boll and Dmitry Ovtarov. Some big times right now for Germany. I can't recall a time when Germany was a serious threat to China with more than one player. I mean, Timo Boll has been for a long time and Dima had beaten Zhang Jiku a few times. But things are starting to change. If Timo Boll can follow Dima's example and beat Fang Zhendong, that would be mind-blowing. And obviously, Timo's fans voted him. First game, Many Fong fans voted him level. the Star Athlete of the Year, but a win right here over Fan Zhendong would make the others believers as well. Fan Zhendong to start this best of seven. One love. <laughs> love two. So Fan Zhendong looked quite fired up yesterday when he played against Xu Xin to knock him out of the tournament. A four to one victory after all. Love three. The quality of counter loop that Fan Zhendong was bringing in. Timo's gonna have to have the racket up a little bit. We'll see, it's tough. If it's really closed, it means even more pressure and likelihood
to catch the edge of the racket. Soft spinny ball off the edge of the table. Timo's first point. Fang Zhendong quite popular throughout China and the world. Timo Bull, arguably the most popular player on the planet. Lest you ask women in China, Zhang Ziku. 4-1. So the spin game and the control game of T-Mobile are going to be big factors out here. Nice start to the point, but Fang Zhendong not phased. One, five. Now one thing that has made Timo so effective against the top Chinese players for the last decade and more, decade and change, is that his strokes are very short and his timing catches the ball early on the rise. Also such variety in shots. Not so traditional in his technique. Let's one, five. One, six. Deep push effective for Fang Zhendong. Slow start for Timo, but we've seen him come back from down 1-3. We've seen him down 4-10 in game seven against Lin Gao Yuan. Oh, burned right back. Timo with a big opening backhand and right down the line, Fang Zhendong just snaps Seven, it back. One. Just hopping around like a boxer out there, keeping his energy up. This takes a lot for Timo to stay in there for all these big shots in the blocking game, just a step and a half behind Seven, the table, two. maybe two. Nice counter here, a little bit of change of trajectory. Good spinnier shot coming back from Timo. Four, seven. Wow, reverse pendulum short with topspin. To the short side of the table, nonetheless. Think about how hard that is to do. Short serves the top spin. Timo, what's going on in that brain? Whatever it is, it's worked. Several points in a row, three if I'm not mistaken. He's right back in it. Second towel break of the game. Seven, five. If this starts sinking in, getting under the skin of Fang Zhendong, he's gonna get nervous, he's gonna get tense. Just reminds you that anything is possible with Timo Bull. Eight, five. Ah, the flip just off the top of the net and out. He's so clever though, he always has something new, always looking for an answer. This receive doesn't help him out. It wasn't a terrible receive, it's just Fang Zhendong is so strong on the attack. Fang Zhendong quickly recognizes he has to take, take it quickly over the table. Five, and another ten. one, five game points for Fang Zhendong. A little bit of a run for Timo in the middle here. Second serve against game point. Oh, the flip surprise. Timo just bends that wrist back at the last moment. Tough to tell where he's going to go. Six. So game point saved. Oh, patiently played from Timo and an even better shot right there. Countered back right behind Timo. Look at this one more time. Heavy spin, relatively low, about net height. Fang Zhendong not bothered. Game one, Fang Zhendong takes it. We'll be back for game two right after this.
再搓你防守层，推你中间或者快卸一下，对吧？这种时候你看你处理还是可以，关键就是防守关键你换过来有可能，需要拧的话，这种处理还是一样，两条直线虽然锁的非常好，好、啊，就注意后面前踢板那种速度就可以了，好、啊。Second game, ball to serve, level. So Timo Bol now with the serve after dropping the first game six points to 11. Has his work cut out. Love one. And this is going to be tough. Timo from behind the table by two steps. Fan Zedong so fast and powerful. While Timo might be wiser and more clever than he was in 2005, he said physically he's not in the same shape, not as fast as he was. Clever idea, but just long. Two left. Again, pushed back behind the table. The opening, the big shot opening there was Timo's. Once Fan Zhendong brings out the gunpowder, it's so tough to stop him. For Three example. Left. Now this is not what Timo wants clearly. Starting to think about the score hypothetically, if there'd be exhibition points later, how much the crowd would love it, but he backed off almost like it was an exhibition point early on here in game two. One, not four. typically a recipe for success, but that underspin serve reverse pendulum is so deceptive. We've seen many players drop it, dump it into the net. One. That second attack, though, is going to be very difficult for Timo. Just hasn't quite figured out what it's going to take to get in this rally long. So the Chinese supporters here come from far and wide to see their national team players. Fan Zhendong has the country behind him, even all the way out here in Kazakhstan. 5-2. Before. It was like a backhand chop to receive. There it was, and right into the point. Soft and spinny while Fan Zhendong is away. These are spectacular points. When do you see Fan Zhendong fishing, then lobbing? Timo way out wide, and a sky lob doesn't come down. Four to five. Timo right back in. And he's got the crowd behind him as well. But it's not clear again. A lot of Fang Zhendong fans here. The Chinese flag, wherever table tennis is, can be seen. Six, four. It's tough. Timo picks up some steam again. Starts to make his comeback, but needs to continue. 1-1, one, one, I think, would put some pressure on Fang Zhendong. He knows he's dealing with the genius within the sport. A legend who's taken down his teammates. And there was the cheerleader himself. Every group needs someone to start. The passion to inspire the others. Both of these players have inspired, inspired <laughs> millions of players around the world. Four, eight. So tough here, three in a row for Fang Zhendong. Similar to the last game, Timo has a streak here and then finds himself on the losing side of a few points from Fang Zhendong and he's back out in front. 
Fun Zendong, that is. Four, nine. Just a little bit late to get in for that forehand flip. If Timo looks like he's sore. He probably is. I mean, he's just playing so much table tennis. Ten, four. Six game points. Fan Zhendong has turned this train around. Oh. Not that last one. So much power game from behind the table. 11 to four, Fan Zhendong takes it. With points to spare. Just a beauty to watch Fan Zhendong play right now. So we'll be back. It's 2-0 for Fan Zhendong versus Timo Bol. The match you want to watch. Game three coming up after this. So back for game number three, the fans split. Third Got game. A lot of Kazakh Fancy fans serve. here Love cheering for Timo Bull. Around the world, Timo is a hero to many. Fan Zhendong, as strong as he is, still has many years, arguably, till his peak. Tough to imagine him improving much. Love one. But you know, that's the beauty of the future. You see things that were unimaginable before. Who would have ever thought that table tennis would get to this level of play, that we'd see such powerful, fast players out here, like Fan Zhendong. One all. Clever idea from Timo. His touch is really good over the table, keeps it short. And misses the opportunity on the fourth ball. rotation on that serve when you can see the label clearly from up here on your TV screen or whatever you're watching on. That means Fan Zhendong is going to have to deal with very little, doesn't have spin coming in. Ahead by one point once again, Timo is going to be fighting for every point here. Down 0-3 against world number two, Fan Zhendong. It's not a place to be. Remember, 16 years between them. Timo Bull, 36 years older than 20-year-old Fan Zhendong. Good placement, nice change of pace as well. Not a rocket backhand, but quick enough to get out. And look at that bounce, how low it stays. Extra spin, Timo can generate a lot of spin. Now, one thing that the Chinese national team does quite well is when there's a player who's a serious threat, they can find a practice partner, find people to emulate the game, learn the strokes. Kong Lung Hui eventually, or essentially anyway, playing the same game as Waldner. Big step around commitment there. He's going to say that Timo Bowles' game we just haven't seen emulate. 4-3. You'd have to spend a lifetime learning his strokes. A little bit different, a bit unique. And Timo back up by two. Good friend of mine came into table tennis watching Timo Bowl on YouTube all the time, and his game is sort of similar, but we're not talking about Chinese national team level. Inside out forehand, Fan Zhendong gets so low. I know, right? It's unbelievable. 
shaking your head out there like, no, nah, I didn't just see that. I'm dreaming. How can you hit it that hard and take topspin off it as well to play some side spin on that ball? The margin for error is just unimaginable. Five all. Timo's touch keeps it near the back edge. But the lead disintegrates. This is the first time that I can recall Timo being in the lead by a few points midway through the game. And now tied up. That's the aggression. Gu Yu Ting looked quite the same. Third ball over the table. He comes in to take advantage. Six, five. Chanting and it sounds like Five, Dima, seven. Timo, in this region of the world, the O often sounds a bit like an A, like Kirill Garasimenko around the world, but here Garasimenko. So that's why it might sound like when they're chanting Timo a bit like Dima. Six, seven. Good opportunity here. Not to win the point outright, but still get in with a quality loop. Timo's spin variation can be tough to counter sometimes. I mean, for most people, all the time. For Fan Zhendong, from time to time. Still Timo leading by one. And he saves it, the grunt for that wide forehand. Timo extending the racket. Do this one more time. Wow. Six. And then fishes it back deep to the backhand corner, sets himself up to cover the table. Oh, that one, that's a shame. After all that work, Timo. You don't want to see the point end this way no Eight, matter who seven. wins it. He saves some big shots and then the fishing. That's just how much pressure there is to keep it deep on the table because Fan Zhendong will control completely if you let him any closer to the net. Right down the middle, Timo saves it. Racket head straight up. Chinese fans watching, feeling some stress right now, but must be excited knowing I don't know if excited is the perfect term. I'm sure their hearts are beating, knowing that Timo has beaten Ma Long recently, Lin Gao Yuan twice recently. Eight, nine. The receive was quite impressive, the fastest shot early on. And Fan Zhendong not bothered by it. Gets it right back, plays the middle. Wasn't sure where Timo was going to go with it. Was just thinking about him receiving a wide one around the net. And it comes long. It's Timo with two game points here. And he's got the serves on his side. That reverse pendulum with underspin got an outright point once before. Reverse pendulum short to the backhand side of the table with light topspin got a point. What's it going to be? I wouldn't be surprised to see a reverse pendulum with some underspin. Let's Goes traditional ten, pendulum, eight. breaks it up. Light rotation and the follow-up third ball attack from Timo. He takes the game, he's on the board. One to two down, but the match is just starting to heat up. Game number four coming up right after this.
他现在发球老发你平了半转不转的时候，或者死转的时候，不想让你拧，对吧？有的时候摆完摆完以后，你往过来可以跳上来。他现在而且他你发球以后，他现在老全给你长的了，说你好好长的，给你长比他多，没关系啊，对吧？要静下心来，还是要一分半斤，大分数全领先了，对吧？还是要有冷静点嘛。So here we are, game number four. T-Mobile loses games number one and two, six and four respectively, and comes back to win game three after an 11-4 loss. Four what a game, turn of events here. Serve, so 21 points so far for Timo and 30 for Fons and Dong, but it's not about who scores more points, it's about who wins four games. Very focused, Fons and Dong handles the low ball, Love spinning. One. Timo can spin it up like that from under the table. A lot of people are going to have trouble countering. Two left. Clever idea, but the long push just too long. Three left. It's interesting when you think about our place in time right now, watching Timo Bowl versus Fan Zhendong. These are two generations. I don't think anyone likes to think about a time where Timo Bull's not playing table tennis. He's looking great right now. Plans to be playing for a long time. But Fan Zhendong, you have to imagine. Well, who knows? Just based on the amount of years you can play for the Chinese national team versus playing for Germany. We will see. I feel like it's such a Let's privilege to see Timo play. Service higher. warning. Ooh, Love interesting. Off. Timo Love handles that four. very well. Said higher toss. One, Timo is unbelievably accommodating. They say higher toss. He says, OK. Comes back with a toss three feet from the palm of his hand and earns the third ball to win the point outright. Doesn't seem to hurt his chances. Two. two serves in a row. Maybe Timo Bull just needs a few more service warnings. Didn't seem to help out Fan Zhendong. But not just the privilege of watching Timo, Fan Zhendong as well. The world is wondering, the world is waiting to see if he will crush all previous records. Again, he's only 20 years old. Five, two. This is the game. Turning point. Timo's been down 1-3 before and come back several times. Quality block stays on top, accelerates with a bit of topspin. A little bit different than the Chinese, but a similar idea for sure. His tactics, though, tactics are right, the technique. It's just got to be difficult for Fan Zhendong. He doesn't have a practice partner that's like Timo. Oh, edge of the six. table, Fan Zhendong sneaks it down the line. Mostly top of the table. You can see the bounce there, kicking off to the side. Whoa! Reaction from Timo again. I'd love to see this point one more time. Six, four. Thank you very much. We don't get the early part either way. Recovery from Timo to keep it in play, and Fan Zhendong gives one more hard shot back on the run. Seven, four. Tough to stay on top. Now, Jorg Roskopf knows Timo quite well. And you've got 36-year-old Timo Bull out there on the court. Timeouts are pretty rare. It's understandable that Roscoff would save them for late in the match. Oh, switch to the right hand, but was extended so wide. Four, eight. Let's see this one more time here. 
too fast. Fang Zhendong, Timo wasn't able to turn back in time. The body language, you hope that's just disappointment, not an injury. Four, nine. Nine, five. The way he's moving out there, though, it does leave some question. Again, Timo Bolt from exhibitions in China to T2 to playing the Bundesliga, Champions League, playing the World Tour more actively this year than we've seen in years. He survives two in a row. Timo just fearless from off the table. There's one. There's the second. The hooking backhand. And then a hooking forehand the other way sends Fang Zhendong up on one foot. Swatting backhand attempt. Still a three-point lead for Xiao Kuaizi. Oh, again out of reach. Fang Zhendong has been so crafty at that. When Timo's away from the table, he knows he's got to switch hands because there's no chance Six, to get back ten. any other way. Still coming down, complete opposite side of the table. Like a knee-jerk reaction, Fang Zhendong is there with a beautiful answer. Four game points for Fang Zhendong on the receive. Seven, ten. But a burning backhand just smokes past. Game point saved, three to go. Another beautiful backhand from Timo. He spins the ball very low to the net. Fang Zhendong cautious, when do you see that? Very rarely. Complete corner of the table again. Timo Bowl like a superhero, picks a place on the table. If this were a video game, that's exactly where you would tell your player to hit it. Timo tells his body and it goes. Not a coincidence, hard work. Oh, and it's finished. Fang Zhendong 11 to eight. After the comeback starts, Fang Zhendong turns it on when necessary. Sits up a little bit and that little bit of side spin, bending it out of reach, pays off. So a three to one lead, we'll see what happens. Game five coming up right after this. Game number five, and the crowd definitely has an opinion here. We've got about half of the place chanting. Yeah, I'm sure it's not half of the place. The more vocal part of the audience, the Chinese fans, Kazakh fans out here supporting Timo, many of them. A bit more fire out here, Timo springing the step. Last one. It's amazing how he can will himself, tired and sore, whatever he is, to just push himself a little bit more, play like it's the, ma the last match of his life. I can rest tomorrow, I can rest tonight, but bring it here. One all. <laughs> Timo there. Not sure exactly what that expression was, but a very impressive shot nonetheless from Fang Zhendong. Covers the ball when it drops right over the net, almost releases the racket. Timo just never gives up. 
and it gets him so far. Three, one. Although a few rallies, timeout here. This is a good timeout call. Timeout. And it's sort of as I suspected, the relationship with Roscoff in this situation, I think Rossi's gonna let Timo call the timeouts. Knows himself quite well, has been playing for a long time. And this is a good timeout. It's still a very recoverable score. We've seen Timo come back from greater depths and deficits. Auf geht's, auf geht's, Timo, he says. So one thing you can imagine is Timo behind the table as strong as he is. The whole reason he's been successful throughout his career more than almost anyone outside of China against the Chinese is that he knows how to stay near the table and take the ball early. Yes, he has a fantastic backhand. Can he depend on it from far away from the table? Not consistently, not against Fan Zhendong. Oh man, that's a beauty. How does he even find that? You couldn't program a ball with GPS to hit this part of the table. Look at Fan Zhendong. Wow. One, five. Right out of the timeout, two points for Fang Zhendong. Tough way to be. Tough to be in Timo's situation right now. The strength of Fang Zhendong. Now it's interesting, Fang Zhendong had one player throughout his career who's been in front of him and has been stopping him. One, six. Timo trying to keep it low, doesn't get the break here. Ma Long is the player I was referring to, of course. And we'll see Ma Long, a new father, beaten by Timo Bull recently, but right now, it's looking tough. Six, two. Not unrecoverable, just tough. Tough hasn't stopped Timo from coming back from down 4-10. So anything is possible. Even things we didn't think were with Timo, anything is possible. Six, three. All righty, two in a row here. Timo coming back. Now the conversation with Rossi, seemed like there might have been some talk about change of pace. Take some confidence to let Fan Zendong take the first attack, but if you can get him taking it late, predict where the ball's going. Oh, no prediction there. Soft and a moment later, it's a snapped Three, backhand. Seven. So tough to handle. Oh. I really wonder, you know, Fan Zhendong was using a different blade in Sweden. Back edge of the table for Four, Timo. Seven. You could hear it in any time Timo apologizes. I can't, even, I can't remember any time Timo even made a questionable call. Such a fair sportsman. Fan Zendong pointing at it immediately as well. Spinny shot down the line. I mean, when you talk about integrity, popularity around the world, but Timo's integrity, his moral compass, is just so admirable. This is a big reason he's so popular, not only with fans, but with professional players. Many players would say Timo Boll is their favorite, their role model, their idol. Calm and collected. A little bit off the top of the net and recovers, no problem. Timo Boll within one point. Wong Hao gonna call a timeout? We'll see. Maybe not now, still a few games in the lead. T-Mobile has come back from down 1-3. Remember Shuefe in Czech Republic. Inside out forehand almost sends Fan Zhendong tripping. And the wince, you don't want to see an injury on either side. Fan Zhendong has pressed himself so hard to get to where he is. And you see the hand on the back. I know fans in China wish him well. Beyond wish him well, love him forever. Right down the middle of the 
table, T-Mobile in the lead. 1-6, if memory serves, it was 1-6, Timo was down. And if that's the case, he has scored seven out of the last eight points. Oh, big opportunity here. Timo sets up the point well, surprise serve, and then plays it one more time, surprise location. And the step around just off the top of the net falls into a Thor. Tied back up, Fang Zhendong here with the serves. Nine, eight. Good serve, tough break here for Timo. That Chiquita, the banana flick from over the table. Doesn't land and Fan Zhendong in the lead. This time it does, heavy side on that. This is one bending Chiquita out here. A lot more side than the one before, that is so beautiful. Fan Zhendong is known for his Chiquita, but Timo just pulling out one of the spinniest side spinny ones I've seen. He's got two serves here, stands boldly and bravely like a statue, thinking out his plan. Inside out forehand once again, he winces a little bit with pain. Seems like there's something in the leg. But the combinations here, Timo's serve right from the start. He doesn't wait to get into it, he has a very specific plan and he's got game point. can see the future, and he can definitely see the future of this match. We're going into game number six, wins the game, and he's coming into the six down 2-3. He can recover, he can recuperate, and he can come back. Let's see what happens, game six, right after this. Back for game number six, Timo methodically cleaning the table. You know, I was thinking about a conversation with Timo recently before our Ask a Pro Six Anything. Game, ball to serve, he said, what are some of your most memorable matches? Some of your favorite matches? He said, well, one of the best I ever played was against Fan Zhendong in Suzhou 2015, even though I lost. Last one. He really just enjoys the game so much right now. Let love one. Right down the middle, the backhand to split the first two points. I'm just shaking my head in disbelief. Two years ago, people were talking about retirement for Timo. Timo has no retirement in mind. None in mind. Not after 2020. Just wants to play as long as he can. And he sure can. Look at this, Fan Zhendong with a spinny, aggressive loop and countered right back like nothing. Long two. The touch sets up, rips through. Barely any follow through. Timo, why are your strokes so short? Well, you know, in the fastest sport in the world, you can't afford a long stroke. Two all. The exact wording was even more humble than that. Working hard here, Fang Zhendong gets that full stroke from the middle of the table. Perfect placement. Fang Zhendong, unless he hits that inside out down the forehand line. 
Manages to find the middle right there. Another great option. Smart play, Timo, unpredictable patterns. So Timo's knowledge for the game, not only can he predict where his opponent is going to hit it so many times, but because of that, he can also predict where his opponent is expecting the ball. This comes with experience, but very focused play. Timo has always been very focused in his practice, his training. It's one of the best pieces of advice he gave to players a long time ago. Four, three. He said practice as hard as if it were the championship. Take your practices very seriously, play focused. Three, this five. one gets away, surprise spin from Fong Zhen Dong with a bit of top spin on it. Excited to see this go to seven, no matter who wins. A game seven would be a gift. So wide. Another thing that Timo said is with age, he's become much more specific. Six, Tough ball four. to play two from, falling back. Fang Zhendong forcing the uncomfortable ball, playing it right into the elbow. Specificity goes, that ball was just a bit lukewarm right into the forehand from Fang Zhendong. Nothing too awkward to throw him off. Not a lot of side spin. Fang Zhendong up 7-4. Time for Timo to turn on the boosters here. There you go. Opening shot and then a soft block shallow on the table. Really just slowing the ball down. You have to be able to think so clearly to make decisions like this. This is not a coincidence for Timo. See where that ball bounced on the table. Leaves the ball out in front of Fon Zhendong. This is something Timo always said about Waldner and many have said how well he used different parts of the table, even just behind the net, changing his depths. Timo's added that to his game for sure. So the timeout here with Wong Hao in the corner for Fang Zhendong. Nice finish there from Wong Hao. I had trouble understanding almost everything he said. Just heard a few words. Quite a quick speaker. Nonetheless, though, you could tell what the ultimate message was. He wants to pump up Fang Zhendong. Wants to make sure that he's confident. Rare to see overconfidence. Maybe one player on the Chinese national team, one or two, has that. Six, seven. And Timo with the high arc and kicking spin shot brings him within one point. If he can continue, I don't know. It's got to be tough for Fang Zhendong coming into a game seven after leading so many times. Oh, a bold serve. Team Bull does his arm flap. We see that a lot. If someone says, you just won Star Athlete of the Year, how do you feel to see that arm flap as well? What can I say? Serve was good, the response even better. Oh, Nine, fooled on six. the reverse pendulum. One thing you can count on is Timo Bowl will not give up. Drags the arm behind and plays it as wide as possible. 
Seven and nine. He is so loose out here. Look at this ball. To just brush up on the inside of that. Under pressure here. He's got two serves now. What can he make of him? He gave a great serve before, short to the backhand side, and it didn't pay off. Oh, it comes back quickly, and Timo Bull hadn't recovered. So three match points for Fang Zhendong to move on to the men's singles final. Fang Zhendong survives the magic that is Timo Bull. And Xiao Kuaidza will move on to the men's singles final. What an exhale. What a relief to get through. Vengeance for Ma Long. We will see, is it going to be Dima or is it going to be Lin Gao Yuan in the final with Fang Zhendong? What a match from Fang Zhendong throughout. Both players here deserve so much respect for everything they brought out here. A spectacular match. And last point, Timo had the opportunity after saving some big shots, a respectful high five as always. While the eye contact isn't there, you have to imagine it's tough. Barrier coming down for a moment with the excitement. ITTF's own Johnny Cowan will be 